Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the Iron Man Profile. Today we're back on the Alpha server because my goodness did they ever add a lot to the Mining V3 update since this was last on Alpha. And since we're getting like so many changes on this, honestly I'm kind of expecting the update to drop soonish. Hopefully this round of Alpha goes really well and we can hope to see this on the main server in like a week or two. And honestly I'm so hyped for it. We have a lot to talk about. Leave a like and subscribe and let's jump right into it. Super quickly though if you do ever find yourself checking on the Hypixel store whether it be for an ongoing fire sale, maybe new seasonal bundles. I'm expecting some Easter stuff soon not gonna lie and you guys are gonna want to make sure you stock up on some gems for those. They've kind of been cooking with those but yeah if you do find yourself checking on the Hypixel store don't forget to use my career code. It's just like my name code Zach Z-A-C-H. You type that in on checkout you'll save five percent on your purchase and it's a great way to support myself and the channel. I do greatly appreciate everyone who uses my career code on a regular basis. You guys are amazing. Without further ado, let's jump right into today's video. We have a lot to look at. We have a lot to talk about today. They added actually quite a bit more content slash rework slash balancing to a lot of the things that were already on alpha. Biggest thing being last time we were on alpha, we were able to see what the pets were going to be basically just by looking at the fossils. Once you collected all the fossils, it would tell you which pet it looks like it belongs to. Well, now the pets are actually here, all of which can be forged. If we go ahead and warp over to the forge really quickly, they're honestly quite inexpensive. I'm um, going to be honest. I thought these were going to be a little bit pricier. Um, they, they aren't though. Like for example, the mole pet requires the claw fossil and 300,000 coins. The T-Rex requires a flawless onyx as well as the fossil. Um, uh, Spinosaurus is a flawless aquamarine. We have the goblin, which is a flawless amber. We have the ankylosaurus, which is a flawless opal. A flawless aquamarine for penguin and a flawless onyx again for mammoth. So very inexpensive. I'm going to be honest. Obviously, you need the fossils. You need to be higher than the mountain seven to even get over there. And you need a uh, 655 to even be able to mine any of the materials. A breaking power of nine. So... It's not cheap uh, as in terms of the barrier of entry, but in terms of actually acquiring them, like once you get the fossils, it, it, it's quite reasonable, um, very cheap. So I'm, I'm kind of here for it, but at the same time, I thought it'd be a little bit more expensive. But we have a lot of pet perks to uh, kind of talk about because my goodness, seven brand new pets, all with their own situational based uh, uses. And some of them are better than others, obviously, and some of them are just really good. So... I say we talk about probably, in my opinion, one of the best pets in this entire update, the mole pet. This thing is so Iron Man friendly, I love it. Or anyone who loves doing nucleus runs, this is the pet for you. So in terms of base stats at level 100, you get 100 intelligence and 75 mining speed. Then you have Archaeologist. Increases your chance of finding scavenged items in the Mines of Devon by 25%. So this is like the, um, the tools you need to actually get the Jade Crystal. Making that 25% faster is amazing. You love to see it. And then blind as a mole, gain a 100% chance for Professor Robot to ask for one less robot part. This is amazing. I mean, especially on Iron Man, grinding out like all these six different uh, robot parts, being able to spend one less per run is really good. Hopefully it kind of like evens out to like the same amount, but basically you're you're like, you're like getting like an extra nucleus run worth every sixth run. So um, really good. Big fan of this. That is a great perk. And then nucle uh, Nucleic Explorer. Um, this one's really good. Gain a 100% chance to receive an extra drop when completing the Crystal Nucleus. So, literally an extra roll at Devon's Alloy. That's great. I'm going to be using this pet a ton. I still need a Devon's Alloy, and eventually I want to get one. It's just, it's not going to be easy. So, we're going to have to do that at some point. Uh, probably my second favorite pet uh, from this update, the T-Rex. This thing is insane, okay? This thing looks like it's pretty cracked. Obviously, I'm going to have to see comparisons when it's on main and people are really trying it out seeing when to use it seeing if it's better than some other combat pets but the t-rex first of all i just love the idea of having a t-rex pet like this thing looks sick uh, the skin alone looks fire um my favorite looking pet i should say but in terms of some of the stats here so that strength up at the top isn't completely accurate because I do have an Antique Remedies, which increases the pet's strength by 80%. And the bottom perk being Tyrant, stats granted by pet items on this pet are increased by 100%. So you can get a ton of strength, though, with your T-Rex. Um, currently, I'm getting 195 at level 100 with an Antique Remedy. 5% crit chance, 25 ferocity, deal 100% more damage to enemies within 1.5 blocks. If you get up nice and close and personal, you're going to be doing a ton of damage. So that's insane. Attacks have a 10% chance to stun the target as well on a 10 second cooldown, which is honestly un an underrated perk, like being able to stun certain mobs. I'm sure it's going to have really interesting like situations where that's OP. Um, and then obviously Tyrant, which I said, stats granted by pet items on this pet are increased by 100%. That's insane. 
overall really good combat pet excited to see the uses for this and if it's better than certain things so yeah really cool big fan of this pet can't lie uh next one i want to hop into the spinosaurus we actually have a couple fishing pets in here which makes me think that you're going to be that there's going to be new sea creatures but there aren't any on alpha so there might not be new sea creatures but we have two brand new fishing pets and uh you guys will see what i mean basically when i look at the penguin pet in a second here but spinosaurus 8% sea creature chance and 25 fishing speed as base stats. Sea creatures spawn with 15% of their maximum health missing, so a little bit less health on them. Honestly, that perk really doesn't matter too much as you get higher up in levels and the, the sea creatures are just really easy to kill. Um, gain 8 magic find against sea creatures. Love some magic find. And then during rain, increases this pet's base stats and stats granted by perks by 75%. This could be really good um this this honestly is really good so it's gonna be interesting to see uh, i don't know if this is best in slot for rain i think it's a good combination of sea creature chance and fishing speed so it might have some uses but i don't think it's more fishing speed than a flying fish with the rain perk and i don't think it's more sea creature chance than a dolphin with the rain perk so it's kind of like in the middle there with a little bit of magic find we'll have to see when that gets used and why but interesting pet though and then we also have the other fishing pet here the penguin which has 30 percent sea creature chance which is insane that is so much and each time you catch a sea creature reduce your cold by six so this is why i think we're getting new sea creatures we have no hints leading towards that besides what you see on your screen right now um why would you need to reduce your cold when you catch a sea creature if you aren't fishing in the class site tunnels so it's really interesting and then the fishing speed reduction from being underground is reduced by 100 percent so basically similar to Ammonite, like being underground here, like fishing in a mining area, uh, I won't be losing fishing speed. So once again, why would I be fishing in the tunnels if we aren't getting new sea creatures? And then Sub-Zero Hero gains 75 fishing speed while in the glass eye tunnels. So they want you to fish down here. I don't know what we're fishing for. I don't know if there's fishing drops we just haven't found yet or what, but uh, you're supposed to fish down here for something. So that's quite interesting. But that's the penguin. We looked at the Spinosaurus, the T-Rex, the mole. Uh, where did I put my Ankylosaurus? Here it is. Ankylosaurus. This one's really interesting. I don't know if this is going to be like the new meta for like tanks or maybe even in like dungeons making lifeline better. But here, I'll read you guys through the perks and you guys let me know where and when you think this will be used. Um, so base stats, 150 health, 50 defense, 15 true defense. Gain 15% of your defense as strength which is pretty OP. That's pretty nice. And then uh, unyielding, increase the effectiveness of last stand and lifeline by 50%. So lifeline is heavily used on terror armor and Kudra. Whether there's like a new meta with this pet now, who knows? You guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments down below. I don't have any lifeline equipment pieces and I don't really rock last stand. So let me know in the comments. Uh, Club tail, every fifth hit deals 50% of your final damage to enemies within five blocks. Enemies hit deal 10 less damage for 10 seconds. Honestly, this perk needs to be reworded. I'm confused. That's all, that's all I got to say. If you guys know what it means, great. I don't. Great. Anyways, moving on. Uh, I think we have one or two more, two more pets here. So we have the goblin pet. I haven't leveled this up, but I have uh, the base understanding of what some of these stats do. So I'll try and break it down. Uh, in terms of base stats, it's going to give some speed and some crit chance. Uh, pickpocket increases the coins obtained from goblin coin bags by 50%. I'm pretty sure this maxes that. And then Offensive Odor, the King's Scent Potion effect lasts 100% longer on you. I'm pretty sure this goes to 100%. So interesting, but if you're like pet swapping, like Mole would be better for completing a Nucleus run. This would be better for making the potion last longer. Can you pet swap? Will it reset the potion length? A lot of questions with this one. But the last perk is what makes this pet worth it entirely. Free range eggs. Increase the chance of finding rare goblin eggs. And this goes up to 50%. So blue goblin eggs, yellow, red, green... This thing's going to be great. I can't wait to get this. I still need blue goblin eggs. I, I'll maybe even do a little bit of powder grinding with it to test it out. But yeah, really excited to see this one. Um, that's sick. The more eggs is great for everyone. Then we have the mammoth pet. This one's really interesting as well. Um, I think I, I think I know the numbers, but I could be off on some of these. So don't trust me too much. But uh, base stats are going to be defense and cold resistance. Um, Woolly Coat, gain a 1% chance for mobs to not inflict cold while damaging you in the glass at mineshafts. I'm pretty sure this goes up to 100%, if I'm not mistaken. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Tusk Luck, gain 0.01 magic find for every 100 mining fortune doubled in the glass eye tunnels and glass eye mineshafts. I'm pretty sure this goes up to 0.5 magic find for every 100 mining fortune. And if it's doubled, usually I get around like 2,000 Mining Fortune, or let's say you have 2,000 Mining Fortune, that's like 20 Magic Find. 
So that's nice, I guess. And then uh, Corpse Crusher gain a, I'm pretty sure this goes up to 30 mining fortune for each frozen corpse loot in your current glassite mine shaft. So that might be good. We'll have to see. I haven't really seen more than three corpses in the mine shaft though. So we'll see if this is really good or not, but time will tell. Either way, these pets are cool. Um, they have some great skins and I'm excited for the fire sales that come with them. I can't lie. There's going to be some sick ones. So love seeing new pets. And honestly, some of the perks are really good. So I think the I think the pets are pretty solid, and I'm excited to see like what uses they really get. But running around with the T Rex beside me behind me never gets old. They also added Peak of the Mountain eight, nine, and ten on Alpha. If we go ahead into our Heart of the Mountain area, Peak of the Mountain I already maxed out to level ten, but the three tiers give um, so for going from seven to eight will give you plus three base glassite powder when mining glassite and 150 skyblock XP. Uh, Peak of the Mountain nine gives a 10% chance for glassite mine shafts to spawn. Uh, or plus 10% chance. So that's actually really good. Very useful. And 175 Skyblock XP. And then level 10 gives two tokens of the mountain and two Skyblock levels. So the honestly really good perks. Very worthwhile. Make sure you upgrade them if you uh, like. Obviously that should be like a top priority. And then they also up the amount of Heart of the Mountain XP that you need for tier 8, 9, and 10 on Alpha. I didn't pay attention to the numbers. I'm going to be honest when I maxed it out. So I do apologize. But I'm sure it'll be like somewhere scalable from as you like work your way through. The progression will just make sense. It's going to be a lot higher than Madden XP. But honestly, that's what we were kind of expecting. The last thing I want to touch on in today's video, because I think this is kind of cool. It's been a while since we've been able to do this. They added uh, two more fairy souls. So there's actually three new fairy souls in the update. One of them is in one of the mine shafts. Two of them, however, are categorized as dwarven mines meaning they are somewhere within either this build or in like the tunnels before you actually go into a mine shaft. So there are two more fairy souls out there or three more in total with this update, which actually means there is now a new uh, bracket of five and you're going to be able to claim another round of fairy souls. So you're going to be able to cash in another five fairy souls, which I think is really cool. It's been a long time since we've been able to do that. And this is the first sizable area we've gotten. So I'm happy to see that there are new fairy souls and Obviously, that will be some more Skyblock XP as well. So make sure you catch up on uh, some of the existing Fairy Souls in game if you don't have them already. If you kind of like got the last bracket, uh, make sure you have at least two over the last bracket so that you can get the three that are in here. And there, you should have an extra one if you get the three that are on Alpha right now, as well as all the existing Fairy Souls. The new total is now 246. So yeah, make sure you're ready to cash in another bracket of Fairy Souls. Some more Skyblock XP. We love to see it. So, yeah, just thought I'd let you guys know about that. I don't know where they are, but um, I'll find them one day, surely. There are a few other changes on this version of Alpha, such as they buffed the loot from corpses. They, I think, buffed the loot from the excavator as well. But I highly implore you guys to hop on Alpha and actually check it out for yourself. It's worth waiting in the queue. There's a lot of cool things that are worth understanding and a lot of things you might want to start preparing for on the main server, whether that be buying them or grinding them out yourself. So I plan on uploading a video either tomorrow or the day after. Uh, we're going to be doing some mining content and basically trying to get ready for this update basically as if the update was dropping tomorrow i want to be ready so i have a lot of materials i need to go ahead and grind out but i can't wait to get my hands on this t-rex pet let me know what you guys think of the new pets in the comments down below if you guys did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe use code zach when checking out on the hypixel store without further ado i'll see you guys in the next one take care and peace out